What's up, YouTube? For today's video, we're the full Tangle Feet ability Pokemon team. Tangle Feet is a really situational ability. The way it works is it actually doubles your evasiveness while you are confused. The tricky part is actually getting yourself to be confused, and then the ability still doesn't have a 100% chance to actually work, and you may even hit yourself in confusion in the process. So it's extremely situational and difficult to actually work. I've got three battles today with the Tangle Feed ability team, and I hope you enjoy. First battle here, this one is against Jess, and of course, all the battles are going to be on Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, because that's where the majority of these Pokemon reside. Now, at the moment, I do have a, um, I do have a cold, because I did go away from for a mini like little break there for five or six days and the second last day i started to feel it coming on you know i, I was around like a lot of people so it sort of didn't surprise me but uh yeah so that's gonna affect my narration a little bit i'll try and edit out any sneezes or you know gross things like that but uh hopefully throughout the week this will uh you know get better there i you know, want to continue giving you people uh your daily uh source of content and salt so Hopefully, maybe, I don't know, I've nearly had it for a week, so we're about five days now, so hopefully after the week it'll clear up. Okay, uh, so we've got this Dodo Lee here. It is going to be a interesting set. So we've got Thrash, Agility, Substitute, and Thief. So Thrash is pretty cool because it can make you confused. So it's sort of a, it's sort of a perfect move for Tangled Feet. Uh, the problem is you need to be able to leave a couple of moves there to get the Thrash to uh, make you confused. Fortunately, if you can get it to activate on the second turn, you can get Tangled Feet to you know, have a chance of activating as well. The only problem is, as I mentioned before, when you are confused, you can hit yourself in confusion. So I did actually got a little miss there, which is very nice. I'll give you what this set is. We've got max, uh, max Attack and Max Speed, Adam and Nature. And I've got uh, the Wiki Berry as the item. So what I wanted to do on this team, I wanted to give all my Pokemon berries that would make them confused. And um, that's how I, like, I made myself get confused. The problem is like Thrash was one way of doing it, but outside of that, there's not actually too many ways. So Luxray is going to faint to my Dodo. Unfortunately, the uh, Frost Slash is going to come in here and it's going to go for our Ice Beam. So that's going to be our Lights out for Dodo. But it was a pretty good start to the battle there. I got Tangled Feet to activate, which is really cool. But uh, yeah, this is a very scary Pokemon too. Now, a lot of the Pokemon that have Tangled Feet are flying type Pokemon. So any Ice types are very scary. So I've got Thrash, Acropressure, Steel Wing, and Substitute. And I've got... Bright Powder on this set too, and I've got Max Speed and Max Attack. So unfortunately, Steel Wing is going to miss. There's some irony for you, and uh, Frostass is going to hit me with a Ice Beam. And obviously, Dodre is not going to be living that one. So this is a uh, this is a very threatening Pokemon. Next Pokemon I'm going to bring is going to be the Pidgeot. So this Pidgeot set is a Figgy Berry Tangle Feet set. Of course, it's Tangle Feet. No way. I don't know why I always say the ability when you know what it is. And we've got Air Slash, Twister, uh, Subtute, and Workup. I've got Modest Nature and Max Speed, Max Special Attack. Uh, so we're going to get hit by another Ice Beam there. Fortunately, Pidgeot does have a little bit more bulk uh, about it there. Oh, we, <laughs> we got a Shed Shell uh, Frostlass on your Pidgeot Shell. And we're going to get some uh, uh, health back here. So this berry is deliberately going to confuse the Pidgeot and activate the Tangled Feet. Now, once again, by no means will this mean that, well, you know, the next move that Frostlass fires off against me is going to miss, but it gives me a chance. Unfortunately, Tangled Feet is quite situational, so I, I, I wish it's I wish it was like a 100% chance you'd get a miss there, but, you know, you're still confused, so I still feel that would be balanced. Like, what do you think about that? I, I think it would be balanced. Uh, next Pokemon to come in is going to be the Rapidash. Uh, the Frostlass actually swapped out. I guess I was a little bit scared that I might lose that because it's quite a good Pokemon like, you know, against this team. So I've got Twister and I've got Air Slash here as my options. Um, I've got Air Slash to flinch too. I thought flinching and missing would be pretty cool here too. So I'm going to be confused there and I get the Air Slash off, which is very good on Rapidash. Rapidash takes it you know, kind of badly, so hopefully it's going to get a miss, but it's got Smart Strike. I'm like, oh, that's really bad. So obviously uh, another thing. Uh, moves that uh, don't miss or don't check the actual like air race and smart strike and things like that. They can get around tangle feet. So there, there is counters as well. That, that's why I believe like you should always get a miss with it, like, especially with those moves sort of like existing. Our uh, next Pokemon is going to be uh, Empoleon. There, the good thing about it is Pidgeot did have enough bulk to actually live that smart strike. Um, I can go for a, uh, sorry, an air slash here to try. I'm not going to go for sub two. I'm going to try and get some uh, flinches there and just get as many as I can before Empoleon. You know, faints me. Uh, now, Polyon is not going to get flinched, and it's going to go for a drill pack, and that is the end of Pidgeot. Now, I did watch um, 
actually, in the second half of this video, I'm going to talk about some of the new stuff on uh, Scarlet and Violet too. I really, really wanted to stream, um, stream that trailer, but my, my voice was just crap and I wasn't very like well at all. So I'm going to talk a, a little, like briefly about it at the end of this video because we've got quite a lot of uh, you know content here today. We've got quite a long video. So this is uh, a pretty cool spin. So I actually had quite a bit of success with this. So I've got double team... <laughs> Focus Punch, Trick Room, and Recycle. I've got a Mango Berry as the item, and I've we know what the ability is. God damn, why do I keep saying that? And I've got Max Health and Max Attack out of nature. So what I want to do here is get some uh, Focus Punches off against the Empoleon. I need stuff to miss, though. So Drill Peck is going to miss, which is very good, and now Focus Punch is going to uh, you know, work there, and I'm going to punch that Empoleon right in the face. That would very much hurt. It's like a drunk... I guess you could say it's a drunken fist. I think there's like, speaking of spinner, isn't it like, it's where there's like over a million patterns on there? It's crazy. That's, 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 I guess they just ran, like they coded in for it to randomize it, right? Like when it appears in the games. Our uh, next Pokemon is going to be Rosa Ray. I'm going to go for a Focus Punch again, and it's going to go for Toxic. So I'm like, okay, cool. You know, that's a uh, that, that's a free round of uh, Focus Punch. I know that it obviously won't take the Rose Ray out, but, you know, any damage is better than none. Plus, it's my only attacking move. So punching that Rose right there, uh, right in the face, I feel like you'd have a couple of uh, thorns in your, in, your, in your hand before, or in your fist. Speaking of which, speaking of that, this is another story. When I was a little kid, right, um, uh, my dad was uh, cutting the garden with his, you know, those sheer things, right? It was a rose garden, you know? And there was roses and thorns and stuff all over there. So I thought I'd be, you know, I'd be cool and uh, climb up the ladder myself. And, you know, I, I was really young at this time. And I got up on the top of the ladder, I was like, man, this is, this is awesome, you know? But then uh, my shoelace, it got stuck in the ladder. You wouldn't read about it, right? And I <laughs> fell off. And I, my, like, obviously my first instinct was to hold my hands out, right? It's before I fell on the ground. So I held my hands out, I was falling down, and then a rose thorn went straight through my hand. Holy crap, it hurt so much. I was sort of in shock, but yeah, it went right through my hand. I was like, damn that. Like, I, I could see it like poking out the other side, but uh, yeah, there you go. This, uh, has anyone ever done that before? Very, very painful. Then that, like, the worst thing was pulling it out. That, that really, really hurt. Sometimes you got to pull out. So we're going to go into spin to here, and we're going to go for a focus punch. And uh, Rose Punch's actually going to get a couple of misses there due to my uh, my spin there. So I actually got like a lot of uh, focus punches off here against it. He didn't faint it, but I got some, like a lot more damage than I actually you know, thought I would there. Uh, spin, unfortunately, is going to uh, faint to the Toxic, which is unfortunate. I, I, I think I might have had a chance of beating Rose Bud if, uh, if it didn't have Toxic. Next Pokemon here I'm going to bring in is going to be Pidgeotto. Uh, it's obviously all the Pidgey line has tangled feet as well. And, uh, you know, it was almost like doing the PG Evo line again. So we're going to have Brave Bird on the set. Now, Brave Bird actually works quite good with the berry. So I can do damage to myself to try and get the berry to activate. This was a Brave Bird sub steel wing U-turn set. Ag Wave Berry as the item. And I've got max speed and max... I, I gave them all different berries as well, you know, with the different natures and stuff like that. Um, if you give it, like, to the berries of a certain hindering nature, it activates the berry. So, like, it says it doesn't like it and it confuses you rather than you just healing off there. Swing Gums Weavile here. I thought I'd go for a Brave Bird. I thought it would actually take it out, but it lived it quite well. And now it's going to be eating a, uh, a Citrus Berry. So that was pretty interesting. Uh, now it's going to go for an Ice Beam here on my Pidgeot. Obviously, Pidgeot is not going to like that one very much. And that is going to faint it there with a crit. I don't believe that crit even mattered either. It still would have fainted my Pidgeotto. Uh, last Pokemon here is going to be the Chatter. This is a, uh, a Substitute Chatter, uh, Echo Voice, and Rooset. Uh, we got the I Appa Berry, Max Speed, and Max Special Attack, Tim and Nature. So I went for the Chatty in hopes that, you know, the Weavile would hit itself a crit or just, you know, generally faint it. And it did. It took it out there. So bye-bye week. Wait, that was level 44. Wait, I guess it didn't really matter anyway. I think it was level 44 or 450. It would have fainted. Last Pokemon is going to be the Frost I see. I actually managed to outspeed it, which is really cool. And it managed to live. So I was like, man, this thing's got like some nice bulk to it. Uh, I do got the confusion off on the Frost Lash, which is really good. Unfortunately, Frost Lash is not going to get confused. And it's going to fire for Ice Beam at my little Chatot. And Chatot is going to faint, unfortunately. But a pretty cool battle there. I got to show you Tangle Feet really, really well there. And man, that, shit, that Shell Bear was healing up some damage there. That Shell Bear Frost Lash, you got to try that. Thank you, Jess, for the battle. Uh, interesting uh, move sets there on your team. Let's get on to battle number two. This is a battle against Squirrel, and Squirrel has got an army of Patrices. 
I don't know how many times I've versed Patricia teams on Brute Dumb and Shining Pearl, but all these different people, uh, you know, tend to be uh, bringing them. So we're going to be starting off here with the Spinder. Let's talk about a little bit of Scarlet and Violet news too, because this was a long battle. So in this case matchup, I was trying to go for Focus Punch and, you know, get that going here, right? There was actually something really cool that happened with an ability, but I'll mention it when I get to it. So there was a new Pokemon on there that the... Um, Oh, the motorcycle Pokemon, not the legendaries, but I feel like it's going to be, this is what I think it's going to happen. I feel like it's going to be a Brant's evolution. So you get to like the end of the game, or the later end of the game, and uh, you get like a choice or some sort of item to uh, like, okay, probably, actually no, probably not a choice because it'll be based on like Scarlet or Violet. So you get like some sort of key item to evolve it or some way like that uh, to evolve it. And you know, that's how the legendary Pokemon will be. I, I can't remember the name, but I, I'm, I'm, at the moment, I've just got a really bad memory. But uh, I'll get to know them as I battle them. It's just the... It's like the... Um, someone will say it in the comment section. Like, you know, it's another, like, uh, lizard salamander-style Pokemon. Uh, we're going to go to Dodre here. Dodre actually gets a miss on the Super Fang, which is quite funny. So I thought about going for Acapressure here. Like, the whole set with Acapressure was to try and get some evasion, too. To add on to the tank, I thought that'd be quite good. Like stacking up that evasion, be crazy, and uh, getting that berry to activate. But the main thing is, I was just going to go for Thrash to get some damage on this Patu. So Patu Baby is going to be fainting. So as I mentioned before, it is six Patu Rissus, you know. And I got that Tangled Feet going really nicely. But it was cool how many times in these battles I got the Tangled Feet to actually, you know, activate there. But, uh, yeah, this is the best I could possibly do on Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl for strategies and things like that, too. If anyone's got any other strategies they think they could use for Tangled Feet, let me know. Uh, once again, I am on Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, so my move options and Pokemon options were kind of limited. So I feel like I really push it, virtually push it to the limit. I couldn't really do much more than that. So, yeah, this Patricia had Nuzzle. A lot of them actually had Nuzzle, and they kept paralyzing me, too. So there were some other new items. So I am talking about, this is official information. I'm not talking about leaks or anything like that too. Um, there was a cool item called Loaded Dice. And what it did, it said it uh, increased the amount of times, or the chance, sorry, the chance a multi-hitting move would land. Now, I haven't seen any exact information where there's going to be a percentage of chance that does it, or it adds another, say, turn on there. Say, the, the Pokemon that I thought would be really good straight away was Breloom with Bullet Seed and Technician. I thought that'd be very, very strong. Let, let's say, for example, right, that Loaded Dice gave you an extra hit. Well, that would guarantee uh, Breloom gets three hits every Bullet Seed, which is pretty strong. And let's say it got like three or four, then that would, you know, that would be crazy strong, you know what I mean? Um, if it just added one on, or is it, um, excuse me, is it a rolling chance? I don't, I haven't seen any official information saying what it actually is, but uh, that's quite interesting to see. I'm just going to have a real quick little drink here, people. Now, the other item was, um, there was actually a couple of items. One of them wasn't actually revealed. They just put it on the Pokemon website afterwards. It was a, uh, it was something cloak. It was like a cloak item. Basically, just stopped all the secondary moves of Pokemon happening. What do I mean by that? Like, you know, flinches. Skull burns, you know, all, all those sort of things, you know, and I, I think it's really cool. Like, you could low key run that item and not get hacked by all that secondary, like, ha like hacks and stuff like that. I think that's quite a good item if you don't, if you want to get around anything like that, you know, I think it'd be like a low key good item. Like, the other person could be wondering, like, why am I not getting any skull burns or flinches and things like that, you know? Um, I think that's a really cool item. I definitely think that item is going to be used a lot, you know, because. It'll, it'll, like, stuff like, you know, like, Pokis, this comes in to use the Air Slash and just continually spams it. Like, it literally takes, like, no effort at all. Or, you know, Iron Head spamming Pokemon, like, Jirachi, stuff like that. That'll, that'll be a good item against them and, um, and things like that. Um, what, was that what was the other ones? It, oh, of course, we had the, uh, the Pokemon, uh, the, ta the, the Subtute move, right? It was, um, Tail, Tail something. Man, I, I'm sorry I've forgotten all these names, but, um, it's got the, uh, it uses the move and then it gives a substitute to the next incoming Pokemon, right? And that's actually very good because you can get that going and set up like moves behind it. Say you have the Pokemon use the uh, tail sub move um, and then you could just swap it into a Pokemon that knows Belly Drum or Sword Dance or Nasty Plot. And you can get like a free, like very big boost there. I'm like, if you do that on a scary Pokemon, that'd be very, like, very, very good. Or you get like, imagine doing it with a Dragon Dance Pokemon with Moxie, you know, like that's, 
That's very, very strong. Another Pokemon I thought would be very good with that would be Slowbro with Regenerator, because you could, if it, of course, if it gets the move, uh, you could do that, and then it would heal itself, and then you could do it again, you know? Um, it's, it's quite interesting. Uh, the strategies you could actually use for that. But, uh, yeah, if you've got any thoughts on the new Pokemon and items there that I've uh, just recently done, let me know in the comment section of the video. Uh, so, anyway, uh, we got this pitch up. This is a big, like, I was trying to get some flinches on this Pachirisu, but it kept, like, nuzzling me and just being, like, a general... Um, you know, a pain in the ass. Now, another item, um, I keep forgetting all the names of these new items. I guess I've only seen them, like, a handful of times. So, it's basically, it's like a her, uh, like a, it's like a herb item, right? What it does, say if you use belly drum, right? Say, for example, I use belly drum, then the opponent has this item. It activates, and then you get, you get to copy this, uh, all their stat boosts. That's going to be very bad for when I attempt some Pokemon sweeps, if someone does have that item on their Pokemon, because... They could potentially match all your boosts, and they could reverse sweep you very, very easily. And they may even have an ability like Unburden that could double their speed, and then they sweep you. You know, it's situational, but if, if in the right situation, it, it could, you could get like wrecked really, really fast. Like it's it's interesting. I, I guess you could say it's sort of like a um. I guess you could say it's kind of like like psych up. Some some I noticed some of the abilities turned to like were like moves, and some of the abilities were like moves too. It's interesting how they uh, swap them out. Um, and we also seen the I think we believe seen with the techno blast move. Um, techno blast is practically like it's practically like hidden power, right? And with um, it goes off your highest. I believe it goes off your highest stat, so it's not like. It depends on whether it's going to be like a special or physical move. So it would go off your higher stats. So say if you got a higher special stat, it would be special. If it's physical, it would be a physical move, right? So that's that's an interesting move, you know. That that that's pretty cool. And obviously with the new mechanic and stuff like that, you can turn like they had a trailer with Tyranitar and a Gallade, right? Tyranitar turns itself into uh, a ghost type, and then Gallade uses a uh, a fighting type move, and it doesn't affect it, like things like that. So I think it's going to be quite interesting, like. The, the, the Gen 9 battles are going to be interesting. We did also see, like, a... We did see the arenas. I'm not sure if it's going to be the actual arena when you battle people online. It's like a park. Sort of like a little park area. I mean, it could be. Uh, it could well be. But it's going to be a lot different to having, like, a, a big arena with, like, a cheering crowd and stuff. So, I don't know. I, I sort of prefer the arena with a cheering crowd. But that, that's just me personally. So... Maybe we'll give some options to change the background. You know, in Sword and Shield, we actually had different options for background. So maybe maybe that could be that as well. Like, that could be an option uh, too. But some interesting, uh, definitely some interesting stuff there uh, for sure. Uh, so anyway, let's get back to the battle. I was just having a couple of, uh, just some of my thoughts on Scarlet and Vile there. Because normally I would have done like a, like practically a, a stream just uh, reacting to that. It would have been quite good. But uh, I think I've, I've covered most of the the new stuff there that they did mention. And they haven't revealed the, the the final evolutions yet. They normally do that a little bit later on. I think they'll do a couple more trailers and stuff or, like already. That's usually one of the last things they reveal. So I'd say we'll get some more stuff on maybe a, a, a couple more. I'd say we've got a couple more Pokemon reveals here, like new Pokemon and maybe maybe a couple of extra like features in the game. I'm sure we'll have something like, I don't know, like, are they going to have some, like, a Pokemon Amaze sort of thing in the game? Like, that's, you know, we had, like, the Pokemon camp and stuff. I reckon we'll get introduced something like that. And, you know, some, just a couple of other things there. And, like, a mixture of new Pokemon and, and abilities. And things like that. Uh, so, anyway, we're going to go back to this battle now. I hope you've enjoyed this little mini discussion here. If you like me talking about, like, some discussions after during battles, I don't mind doing that. Especially when there's, right, really, like, long periods of, you know, especially the Patricia versus... Uh, the Tangled Feet team took like a long time of like just really weak moves going back and forth there. Um, I hope you do like that sort of stuff. Uh, so we're going to go to chatter. I'm going to try and get some echoed... Yeah, I was thinking to get some echoed voices going here. And then the Patrius had charge beam, which is a problem there too. Chatter actually managed to live that, which is cool. Only because it was coming from Patrius who like, you know... God, awful special attack set. Uh, ch uh, the Chadot is going to be eating its berry too. That was its, uh, its I Apa berry. So it's going to be getting confused too. I like how that activates it. But I, I believe this ability should have a buff. Like, if anything comes out of this video, like, what do you think about this? Buff Tangled Feet. So when you are confused, you always get a miss, right? And I, don't, I, I believe that's balanced because you still have to get past the confusion to make your moves. So that doesn't mean like... 
That, and, and there's still stuff like area away, smart strike. Those moves can hit you still. That That's fine. Like, I don't mean those sort of moves missing because they always land. But I, I think that balances it. And it, it's it's still very, very situational to even you know, even do that right. So I think that would make it... Um, that would make it interesting. Plus, getting yourself confused is not easy. Like, once you're confused once... Okay, sure, you can do it with a berry, you know? Um, be kind of interesting. But after that, it's difficult to get yourself confused again. Now, there was something really, really interesting here in this battle where I I was going for a recycle strategy on my Spinder, and the berry got picked up by the Pachirisu, and then I couldn't recycle it because it got picked up. That was very, very interesting to see. I'm not sure if anyone actually noticed that, but... That's not something you actually get to see very often. Like, I mean, pickups even more obscure than Tangled Feet. I don't even think I've done pickup ability yet. It's going to be difficult to do, right? But uh, yeah, that, that was really cool. Uh, it was when my spinner was battling a little bit earlier on. Uh, so we got this Patrice. It's going for, they're trying to fight me with grass. Like, they're trying to disrespect me with the grass stuff. But uh, Pidgeot is going to live on uh, in the two health there and finish this uh, pesky Patrice off there with a twist start. Um, there's two more Patrice left there. So two, uh, two to go. Uh, so this was a uh, very, very scary Patrice here because it had Roller. And of course, Roller is super effective against my entire team except, except for Spinder. But you know, Spinder was already fainted at this point too. Uh, Pidgeot's going to be fainted too. So the only thing about Rollout is it's not 100% accurate. So I thought, well, I might have a chance of actually, you know, dodging it with my uh, Pidgeot. So we had, um, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, my Pidgeot. So we had 50 seconds of the battle here left. And I got my berry to activate, which is quite uh, which is quite cool because that's going to actually grant me the ability Tangled Feet now. Uh, so we're going to get the confusion. I was hoping that I could take this thing out, but I really didn't have like a lot of moves to hit it with. I had like Brave Bird, Steel Wing, and U-Turn, so it was extremely limited. I wish I had like a normal type move there um, to do some more damage. Plus, you know, Brave Bird was doing a little bit of recoil damage to me too. And the next, you know, the next rollout actually missed. But I was like, well, there's two more patches left. I'm going to need to get like a critical hit. So that one did end up missing. But uh, Pidgeotto managed to get um, hit itself in confusion there. So like, okay, well, I'm probably going to end up fainting to the recall anyway, but uh, you managed to get around that, that and hit with a spark. So that is the end of the battle with the Pachirisu thing. We've got one more battle here, people. That was a very, very long battle there. Thank you, Squirrel, for the battle. And man, I, that's enough Pachirisu teams up. I've versed so many of them, right? Uh, next battle, this one's against uh, Ga uh, Gigan, and we have a Rhyperior League. Now, this was a this was a scary league because this was super effective against my entire team as well. We had the... Yeah, I mean, I had the capacity to be uh, super ready against Spinder if I had any, like, fighting time moves, which you can. It can have stuff like, uh, you know, Hammer Up. So it's going to go for Rock Wrecker right off the bat here. And that, that actually looked like a, a pine cone made out of rocks there. Thankfully, I set the sub up here uh, with my Chatop. So with Chatter, I couldn't really do much. I thought, let's just go for Chatter to get a confusion. And then I might even use uh, Echo. I may even try and boost it up with my Echo Voice. You know, that, that could work. But I, I'm going to need, like, a lot of hits. And I'm going to need Ripe here to actually hit itself in confusion. So I went for a, uh, a couple of chatters there. I actually changed my mind going for Echo Voice. thought, so, well, I'm probably going to get unlucky here and it's going to get through. And, you know, I was correct. So it's going to go for Stone Miss and Chatot is going to be fainting. That didn't work out very well. It, 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 once again, it's a, it's a difficult ability to use. So we're going to go into Spinder here. Now, Spinder was my best bet at taking Rhyperior or doing some damage to it. The only thing is here, I actually needed to, for it to go for like a uh, like a miss. So it snapped out of confusion and got a Mega Horn off. So, okay, that sucks. Maybe I need some... Maybe I can get like a double team off here. So I went for double team. I thought, if I can get like a couple of double teams off here and get some focus punches going, that could work. Like maybe two focus punches. And they're going to go for Horn Drills. Like, okay, well, that, you know, that counts as double team there. So I went for Focus Punch here. Stone Miss is going to miss, and I managed to get a Focus Punch off there because my uh, my Focus didn't get... Uh, obviously, I didn't get uh, my Focus uh, wrecked there. That's what another thing, too. I've said this in the past. Focus Punch should work within a Focus. Like, if you've got in Focus, you shouldn't lose your Focus. I, I still believe that would be really cool. So, of course, uh, Stone Miss is going to land the next turn, and Spinder is going to faint right there. Unfortunately, I was hoping to get another miss, but it never happened. We're going to go into Pidgeot now. Unfortunately, this has got like a little bit of health left. We can finish off there with a uh, a little bit of a disrespect uh, twister. So bye bye Rhyperia. This battle was very quick as well. Like the sec the second battle was the longest. The next Pokemon is going to be um, Peralligator. Now I'm going to go for a work up here. I was hoping I could uh, you know live the attack, get a special attack boost, and try and get some sweeping going. Uh, so Peralligator is going to go for a Dragonance as well. So like, uh oh, this is bad. So if this has got some sort of 
ice type move. This is going to be very, very bad. I'm sure it's got some sort of ice type. Even like something normal, like a, a stab waterfall, is going to do a lot. So wait for air slash there, and it's going to go for ice fang. I'm like, oh, this is going to hurt. And Pidgeot leaves. I was like, man, okay, that was really, really good. So they're running like a bulky for alligator. Obviously, um, I'm going to be eating my berry here, and that's going to be uh, healing me up and putting me into tangled feet. So like, this is good. The only bad thing is if I do hit myself in confusion. I like how it says it didn't like the berry either. That, that's a nice little uh, touch there. So I went really risky play here. I went for a substitute in hopes that Tangled Feet would get me a miss. And they went for Hydro Pump and a miss. So I don't know whether that actually was just Hydro Pump's average accuracy or Tangled Feet actually helped me there. But regardless, Pidgeot managed to get through the confusion and take out the Feral Alligator. Which was, that was pretty impressive to be able to set a sub up, dodge the attack, and then hit afterwards and not hit myself with confusion. Next Pokemon here is going to be the uh, Don Fam. Now, Don Fan is, uh, should be a two-hit KO with their Slash, since I've got plus one there. So their Slash is very, very hard on the Don Fan. Now, Don Fan is going to get Flinch, which is amazing. Now, it's going to go for Endure. So, uh, they're going to be living on one health there. I don't know whether they got, like, a Berry, but I feel like it would have activated already. So, I don't know what they're trying to achieve there with a Custap Berry. Maybe they've got, like, Flail or something along those lines. I'm just going to go for uh, Twister here and finish off the Don Fan. I I'd say it would have finished it off anyway, regardless whether it used it. Endure or not. So, Pidgeot is sort of, like, uh, it's sort of getting, like, a mini sweep going here behind a sub, which is sort of what I was going for. Next Pokemon is going to be uh, Dodre. It's funny, we both got a Dodre. I'm going to go for Air Slash here. Outspeeding the Dodre. Dodre is going to get dropped in one shot. It's not a very bulky Pokemon either, and your Air Slash was stabbed too on my um, on my Pidgeot. I was running Modest Nature too, so it was hitting pretty hard. Next Pokemon is going to be Mighty. I knew they'd go for a Sucker Punch here. That is going to break the sub on my uh, on my Pidgeot, but that's fine. You know, I can get some good damage here with Air Slash. Would it take Mighty out in one shot? I was like, probably not. It might just live, and it did. So I was like, okay. I was almost going to go for a status move there to try and play some mind games with Sucker Punch, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to go for a tacky move. I think they'll predict that. And I think that's actually what happened there. Last Pokemon is going to be uh, Camera Up Dip. Uh, I can't take out a Camera Up, but hopefully I can get a flinch here and on, on the Camera Up there. Excellent damage, but unfortunately, uh, Camera Up is going to take me out with a Heat Wave there, so Pidgeot's going to faint. But, oh, it's, it was Pidgeot, not Pidgeot. So Pidgeot got a nice little uh, mini sweep there, took out... One, it's about four, nearly five Pokemon in a row. Last Pokemon is going to be Dodo. I'm going to finish off the old Camel Toe there with a, uh, the uh, Thrash. And that is the end of the Tangled Feet ability team. Hope you enjoyed it. A new, cool, different ability. I'll catch you tomorrow for another video. Peace out, people.